November 1 Bravo Whiskey, I am showing traffic 12 o'clock and 10 miles, 2,900 indicated type unknown. Keep your eyes peeled. Traffic, 10 o'clock. Turn right at us. He's 400 feet below us, but he's turning right at Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm Eric, a private pilot based in Los Angeles. Join me and my family on our aviation adventures throughout Southern California and beyond. Today we're going to load up the bikes in the Cherokee, fly to Santa Ynez, California, hopefully ride our bikes to Solvang, which is uh, like wine country near Santa Barbara. It's a little kind of Dutch style town. It's actually Danish. This bike path from the airport to the town, it's about four miles. We're going to try to ride that into town, get some food, and ride back to the airport and see if the kids can do the bike ride. Let's load up. One reason I really love the Piper Cherokee 6 is the spacious cabin and the ability to haul a lot of stuff. We pull the two rear seats to make room for the bikes. With the pedals and wheels off, we fit four bikes and still have room in the front luggage compartment for everything else. What are you guys looking forward to? Riding bikes in 90 degree weather? Or? Shopping. Shopping? Shopping. Let's go. Bravo whiskey traffic on the go. Okay, close the door. This is a Cherokee runway one two right down one departure inside the five. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on one two with a right down departure inside the five. One Bravo whiskey thanks. Now. Entered runway one two. Four thousand feet remaining. Traffic Air speed is alive. To make our way to Santa Inez, we need to head westbound, which means transitioning through Van Nuys Class Delta airspace. Once we're on our right downwind departure, the Whiteman Tower controller hands us off to Van Nuys pretty quickly. Van Nuys Tower, Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey at the uh, 5 118 change westbound transition. Number 1 Bravo Whiskey, Fog 0267 westbound transition approved. Okay, uh, 0267 1 Bravo Whiskey, thanks. After transitioning through Van Nuys airspace, we get handed off to SoCal and set up flight following to Santa Ynez. We fly over Ojai at 6,500 feet and get some nice views of the Santa Barbara coast in the distance. The total flight time is only 40 minutes, so it's not long before we start descending. 5631 Bravo Whiskey, you got a big our descent for Santa Ynez and we have the one minute weather there. 1 Bravo Whiskey, Roger, thank you. November 1 Bravo Whiskey, I am showing traffic 12 o'clock and 10 miles, so he's about 2 miles um, east of uh, San Inez, 2,900 indicated type unknown. Okay, I'm looking for 1 Bravo Whiskey, thank you. 1 Bravo Whiskey, he's the only observed traffic between you and the airport. Radar service is coming as blocked via far, it's to change the cruise of the flight. With the handoff to Santa Inez CTAF, we were on our own for spotting the traffic. Just to be clear, we were flying over the lake and there was opposing traffic on the south shore of the lake coming towards us. Since the plane is equipped with ADS-B in and out, we were able to see the traffic represented on the iPad. That's the guy she's talking about. Hi. Keep an eye out for that guy. Santa Inez traffic, Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey, 10 miles east of the airport, 4000 descending, planning on entering a left downwind runway 26, Santa Inez. I was hoping he'd be on the Santa Inez frequency too. Well, let's just see if we can see him and we'll avoid him. He's a thousand feet below us now, 900 feet, really converging. So I think what we're going to do is offset to the right here. Okay, just to be sure. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, Yep. Even though we knew where he should be, we still had trouble spotting him. Oh, he's turning. He's turning right at us. I did my best to offset to the right, but then the traffic turned right towards us. He's 400 feet below us, but he's turning right at us. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Traffic, 10 o'clock, 2 miles, 400 feet below. Oh, I see him. He should be like right below us. It seemed like no matter which way we went, he was coming right for us, so I started an immediate climb. He's right there. See if you could spot him crossing under the plane.
I want to recognize how hard it is to actually spot an airplane, even when it's close and even when we know where it's supposed to be. The ADS-B traffic display is really helpful, but it only goes so far in showing us where the traffic is in two dimensions. I try to keep my head outside the cockpit and look for traffic, but I do find myself looking at that iPad a little more than I'd like. If you're a pilot, I'm really curious to hear what you would have done in this situation. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. San Inez traffic, Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey, turn of final. Left traffic, runway 26, San Inez. We are right on speed. Everything looks good. I just love flying into San Inez, passing all the gliders on final and landing on their sort of short 2800 foot runway. It's such a beautiful area. It just makes you really feel like you're out of the city and in the country. And they have a great little FBO with really friendly people, free drinks, and reasonably priced gas. Yeah, that, that trying to kill us or something? Uh, you were trying to kill us. I know. <laughs> I got really scared for a moment. Now we are starting what? our ride to Sullivan. About five miles, and it's hot. Oh man, is it hot. The ride from the San Inez Airport to Solvang is about five miles, half on road, half on bike path. There are some up and down hills, but it's not too hard, unless it's terribly hot. That was a fun hill, huh? By the time we arrived in town, we had worked up quite a sweat and a good appetite. We made it to the Succulent Cafe. <laughs> After lunch, it was time for some serious shopping, and Solvang's got plenty of shops to keep you busy. Don't disturb her in her natural habitat. No sudden move. Sure. Solvang also has several great Danish bakeries, and we had to get a big tub of butter cookies. Okay, the Christmas ornaments that you got? They're eggs. They're eggs. So I wouldn't put them all in this one basket. You can't see me rolling my eyes. We finished the bike ride. We did, barely. It was pretty hard. It was terrible. It was hot. It was way too hot. Sky Rat is a machine. So now we gotta fuel the plane and go back home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like doing anything either. I might just lay here until tomorrow. San Inez traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey, take it runway 26 for left hand departure, San Inez. This is my favorite time to fly. It's dusk, usually the air is smooth. The sunset is beautiful, magical, and amazing. It's, it's really the best. Is it more magical because we're here with you? It's way more magical because everyone's here with me. Being up there is great, but even better is making memories with our kids while they're still kids. The airplane? Well, that's just an excuse to get out there and do it.